By our count in West Michigan, there have been four rollover crashes in which passengers, most of them children, have been thrown from the vehicle over the last month alone. Two of them were fatal. The victims did have on the one thing that may have saved them, and that is their seatbelts. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie is live along US 131 with more on this story tonight. Joe? Yes, you know, the stats show that when it comes to bugling up here in Michigan, we do pretty well. That's when we're in the front seat. Problem is, when we hop in the back seat, we forget some of those basic safety rules. In this wrecked storage yard, two vehicles, two accidents, two very different outcomes. Sunday night, a white cloud man and three children, two 12 year olds and a 14 year old, were involved in a chain reaction crash on 10 Mile near Division. The van rolled over, eventually catching fire. Everyone was belted in. As you can see, there's plenty of uh, metal that's inside. Uh, they could be severely injured or killed uh, if they wouldn't have been wearing their seatbelt. And possibly ejected. The driver wasn't injured. The young passengers received minor injuries. Two cars down the road sits the vehicle that five Grand Haven High School students were riding in when it rolled over on I-96 near Lowell a few weeks ago, seriously injuring the three backseat unbelted passengers. Could it have prevented them from being ejected? Possibly. If you've noticed more of these rollover ejection accidents lately, you're not alone. It seems so slow surprising that we've had this many over the last handful of weeks. One person died, another was critically injured in this ejection crash in Muskegon County last week. The driver of this vehicle was cited for not having kids buckled in after this wreck Saturday on I-196 near Market. Five children were ejected. All were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. It is surprising to me. The law in Michigan is that all kids under the age of 16 in the back seat need to be buckled, and all front seat passengers, regardless of age, needs to wear their seatbelt. No one can say for sure that seatbelts will save a life, but it sure does tend to even the odds. Again, it's always a good reminder, uh, children and adults both, uh, be buckled in the back seat. Keep yourselves a little safer. Now, there are certain things you need to know when buckling your child into a back seat, whether you're using a child restraint seat, a booster seat, or the child is sitting on the actual seat. The Safe Kids Coalition has answers to those questions. We have a link at woodtv.com. Live in Grand Rapids, Joe LaFergie, 24 hours 8.